<clears throat> hey internet, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of the John Graves Show. Sony Exec says that 2016 will have a better, better first party lineup than what happened in um, this year, 2015. And that's something that I can kind of look at it and be like, well, yeah, I do kind of feel that. Because, again, we do kind of have this crap. Oh, yeah, and before I start all over this, yes, the PlayStation 4, it did have way more first party exclusives. The thing is, though, is that not a lot of people count. Japanese games as that as part of that list, which is something that, which is something that I don't get because if it's not on Xbox three, um, uh, Xbox One in the first place, then how in the fuck can it not be countable? Because it has to be American only. But whatever. Going on, go, going on through this list though. Um, Michael, um, Michael, Michael Ephraim pretty much went on to to um, discuss. Like some of the games that came out this year that really weren't all that big and the games that came out around this point in the year <coughs> such, such as Fallout, Metal Gear Solid, Fan 5, The Phantom Pain, uh, The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt. You also you also have a few games that came out <coughs> earlier in the year such as um, such as like um, Bloodborne and The Order 1886. You know things of that that nature they say that they put more focus on the third party games because the first parties really weren't all that strong even though a lot of them they really were pretty interesting to play and they did have pretty interesting stories and stories and everything they really weren't as groundbreaking as how some of the games have been in the past to where that they could spawn out way more games than just one and then they would just jump right into the development of, of another you know, kind of like how, again, like like how the Uncharted's are, um, uh, like um, uh, like how the Uncharted's and the God of Wars are, and the fucking Kill Zones when they released those, and then they created way more games from those, which is kind of a thing to sort of look at for this though. But um, going into that though, you also have um, uh, Ephraim pretty much went on to say that 2016 titles. Um, are coming strong, and that the lineup of Street Fighter V, Uncharted 4, Thieves, and No Man's Sky, The Last Guardian, and um, Gran Turismo, all those are looking up wonderfully, and that they're pretty much doing a lot to, to sort of pull people into, like, the fucking PlayStation 4 experience. Mind you that I really don't have too many problems with those, but... Then again, a lot of people, they kind of don't count specific games as exclusives if they're also on PC. But, but, whatever. But, until then, though, that is what I gotta say about that. Please tell me what you think about this down there in the comment section. I'll catch you guys on the next John Grave Show. Please keep watching Anime, keep playing video games. And this argument of exclusives and first parties and shit, I swear, it, I swear it can make your head hurt. But, I'm a... Hey internet, how's it going? I hope that you enjoyed that video. And if you want to go ahead and check out some of my other videos, please click, I believe, the side because I think it's going to lead over to another one of my other videos, which I do believe that I talk about a lot of the crazy shit. So yeah, until then, please, everybody, please keep looking at my videos. Keep on fucking supporting what I do. And I'll catch you guys next time on the next John Grape Show. And always, and always remember, yeah, don't be doing that gay Gay yeah, shit by like fucking thumb down to my uh, my video just say just cause you don't like my opinion or that I stutter. But until then, I'll catch you guys next time. I'm out.